Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here with an exciting product review for you guys. I am here to review a product that is going to change your life if you hate dark rooting. I'm not kidding. So if you want to know more about this, stick around. I could not be more excited to be partnering with a company called Style Edit to bring you a product that is amazing. It is a root powder that I have tested and it disguises dark rooting on wigs. It is crazy. Here it is. It's called, that's the company name, Style Edit. Blonde Perfection Root Touch-Up for Blondes. I have been testing some products. I still have more products to test. So stay tuned for more videos like this where I'm showing you how you can modify color on synthetic wigs besides just adding rooting and low lights with like furniture markers and Copic markers, which I've shown in multiple videos and they work great. Um, but I think there could be some other options out there as well that will either lighten roots like this baby does, or that will be more temporary than the markers because the markers don't fully wash out. So you're kind of committing if you're going to be using them on your wigs. But something that's eluded us for as long as I've been wearing wigs, is how to reliably lighten the rooting on your wigs. Now, you can use, there are some sprays out there that you can use, and I do have a few here that seem to work okay, and I'll be making a video on those. But the problem with the root touch-up sprays is they coat the fibers in such a way that they actually change the way that they feel. And I don't prefer the way that they make them feel. They make them kind of sticky and heavy. It is definitely not my preference. And that's kind of why I don't like to use a lot of products on my wigs either, because I don't like when the fibers get coated and they start to feel different and they start to move different. But this stuff does not do that. So I'm gonna demonstrate this for you and then I'm gonna put some side-by-side -side pictures on the end to show you how it looks when I've done it. So I've taken some pictures without having done anything to these roots and then I will tack some pictures on the end. Before I do that though, this is a modified wig. It is John Renault, I think it's Giselle, in the color Palm Springs Blonde. It was donated to me by a wig sister. It was much loved. It was not in super shape. The bangs had been cut, which is why I sort of have them pinned back right here, uh, and curled. And they had really bad box hair. And so I am working on trying to teach myself how to restyle wigs. And so I took a steamer to this one a few days ago and I steamed her straight. The ends are still a little, a little frizzy, but not too bad. And I steamed the bangs straight, but they don't look great <laughs> because they're kind of choppy and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those bangs yet. So I just clipped them over to the side. It's irrelevant to this video. It's not going to impact the uh, final outcome. But so if you're loving the way this one looks, you can't buy it this way. It is a modified wig. All right. So let's talk about this stuff. So it comes in this little cute little container. And so this little ribbon, when you pull on the ribbon, it opens this up and then you have a powder inside. It's a, it's a hard powder. It's not a loose powder. This is in the color light blonde. They also have a medium blonde and a dark blonde. They only sent me the light blonde. Now I will reach out to them and see if they'd be willing to send me the other two colors so I can kind of do a comparison and see, you know, which color works better on what type of rooting. But if not, I may be asking for some donations if people want to test this because these are $33 each. Now I have a coupon code for you guys. You can get 25% off of this and I will put that in the description so you can save some money. But I don't, I don't think I would ever lighten roots myself. I like dark rooting, so I'm not going to buy these products for myself to use. So um, if you guys want to see those and I can't get them to send me the others, hopefully people will help me purchase them. But let me show you what you do. So you take the bottom and you just twist off the bottom and you get a little pad. It's like a little soft pad in there. And all you do is you dip dip it in, you get some of the product on the pad, and then you just tap it onto the rooting. Look at that. It's amazing. 
It is like unbelievable. And it does not take very much at all. I was so thrilled when I tested this uh, the other day. I just could not believe it. It is so incredible. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't like it. I don't once it's kind of on and you just sort of pat it in. I don't feel it on the fibers. It doesn't weigh them down. It doesn't make them heavy. It is truly like awesome. So you can just do it a little bit. Now, I don't know if, you know, you can really hide all the rooting completely. So if you want to take a rooted wig and make it look like it's completely unrooted, I don't know that that's realistic. I also think the challenge is going to be for wigs that are rooted all the way through to really hide all the rooting, like underside and everything. That might be a challenge. But I definitely think you can tamp down the amount of darkness on the wig by just sort of getting it at the front, at the part. You know, you could lift this up a little bit and get underneath. Something else that you could do with this is you could hide some knotting. Now, that's going to be a little trickier um, if it's a darker wig because you don't want to make it look fake. But I did test it a little bit and I'll, I'll probably do some more playing with that on the dark knotting at the front just using a makeup brush as opposed to this look at that look at how that disguises that and it seemed to work so I'll keep keep working on that and bring you another video but it just is incredible how it changes the appearance now of course this is a super light blonde wig and this is a the light blonde color so as you're getting into the darker blondes, you might have to go with either the medium blonde or the dark blonde in the color. I don't know. I don't have it. But for now, I wanted to get this to you guys. I didn't want to sit on this any longer. I just seriously cannot believe how easy that works and how well it, does, it works on this color in particular. It's just fantastic. Let me see. I actually have a little bit of a darker blonde right here. Let me just try it. So you can see this is a little bit of a darker blonde. I can't remember which Henry Margot color this is, so I'm sorry. I don't have the tag in front of me, but let's just see. If we take this light blonde Yeah, it seems to work. It doesn't now I don't know, am I in the frame? Is this going okay? probably want to use something maybe the medium blonde just a little bit darker because it is just a little bit light but I don't know that anybody would notice they're not you know getting that close up I want to knock my tripod over I think it would work until I'm able to try any of the other colors now Let's just be realistic about this though. Um, this one is easy to do because it's straight and it's lower density. This Henry Margot is gonna be more challenging because of how much curl she has. And it's gonna be a little bit harder to kind of get in there and get all of that with all the curl and all the lift. So it, you know, it's gonna take a little bit more work. The beauty of this is it's not permanent. This wash is completely out. So you're not committing to anything long term if you end up not liking it or, or you know, your taste change at some point. And it could also be, I mean, this thing is going to last forever. You don't need to. So it is a little bit spendy, but I can see this lasting forever. So if you are someone who thinks you're going to want to do this to a lot of wigs all the time, this might be a really good investment for you. Another thing that you could do, maybe you don't want to do all of the rooting, but you want to get rid of some of the darker, any darker colors right around the face, and then you just use it on certain parts strategically. It is so good, you guys. So good. So let me get some pictures taken for you so you can see some side-by-sides. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'll continue to... They sent me some sprays, too, some root sprays. So I'm going to continue to test some of those products to see 
what applications they work best for, what they do. But for now, this works so well, I needed to bring it to you really quickly. So it's the light blonde that I had, like I said, I will link it in the description. 25% off if you use the code, I think, or 25, did I say 20? I meant 25. I think the code is HeyWigSister25, but let me double check that. I'll put that in the description as well. Good stuff, you guys. Really good stuff. So thank you. I'm trying to find my remote as I'm talking. Thank you to Style Edit for sending me this. They were awesome. I just reached out to them on Instagram and I asked them. I came across their product and I just said, hey, would you guys be willing to work with me? And told them what I was trying to do. And it was like 10 minutes and I had a response that they were going to send me a package full of stuff. So it was really cool. And I'm so thrilled to be able to bring you guys some of these products. I know how color is so hard. So let me know if you have questions and I'll keep bringing you more stuff as I'm able to get to them and get them tested and get the videos filmed. Love you guys. Don't forget 25% off code in the description. Talk to you soon.